Welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate the Create on Database Entity tool. Create on Database Entity is an automatic grid entity creation tool. In other words, on top of your databases, connectors can be created at the boundaries of quilts, and domains can be created on top of those quilts themselves. To begin, we'll select our water type model and, go to, and proceed to the defaults panel to establish connector and domain default parameters that will be used uh, for any connector creation, any domain creation moving forward using this tool. So you would set up your connector default parameters here. Uh, then you would go down here to select your or input your domain default attributes here. Now the domain type is dependent on the state of your grid entity type here. And we've selected unstructured. Of course, the user creates structured domains automatically. The user has to ensure that the quilts have four edges and that they've also prescribed a certain number of dimensions. And then finally, the user can set up the size field. Or those are the primary areas for setting up default attributes for using this tool moving forward. The tool itself can be initial, uh, initialized or initiated from the toolbar using one of these icons. The first icon is create connectors on database entities. And the second icon is to create domains on database entities. The user, however, has the option to use a slightly more advanced tab. If they go to create and on database entities, this will open the on database entities panel. The first thing you'll notice is a connectors defaults table. This lists some of the defaults from the defaults tab that you've established for connectors. Next, the user would select either to create just connectors or domains. The remaining Attributes are some of the more advanced features, uh, an auto merge tolerance. Any new connectors that are created within some tolerance will be automatically merged upon creation. Uh, we have connector split angle. This essentially is an angle that's prescribed by the user. Uh, any edges that have a turning angle greater than that, the connector that's created at those boundaries will be split uh, at that point. And then connector join angle. This is essentially a way to prevent connectors from being split at points in the topology that don't need to have a, a connector split there. Uh, and then finally, domain join angle uh, is essentially if there are no features in the database that need to be uh, captured with domains uh, boundaries at that location, you can prescribe a specific angle uh, to again have domains automatically merged uh, that satisfy that particular criteria. So once you've established all your criteria, you'll hit OK. Uh, this will take just a few minutes for the mesh to create itself. Once it's finished, you're guaranteed to have a watertight surface mesh. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.